it's no wonder that people get confused by computers, especially the terminology. And some of the terms just don't make sense, or maybe they did make sense a while ago, but, but not anymore. Okay, one of those terms is memory. Right? Most people, or in fact, a lot of people, when they think of memory, they think of the hard disk drive. Okay, why it kind of makes sense because you know, you think of our memory uh, in our brains, we, we remember a lot of things and we remember them for a long time. Well, that's exactly what a hard drive does, okay? It just remembers all sorts of things. But for a lot of folks, what memory means is RAM, okay? RAM is random access memory, okay? And that's basically, all memory is random access. That used to be, there used to be a thing called sequential access memory, but now every, all memory is random access. It means we can jump to any point in the memory at any time. Right. And uh, basically, RAM is composed of memory chips, little tiny chips that are soldered onto a little plastic green uh, circuit board. And they're very fast, kind of expensive. And maybe um, instead of RAM, let's call it main memory. It's probably a better term. Okay. All right. And let's just compare the two, main memory versus the hard disk drive. Right. Main memory chief advantage of memory is that it's fast but it's volatile it loses its data if there's a power failure it's kind of expensive too considering the, the amount of data that it holds and therefore it's it's relatively small on the hard disk drive by comparison okay hard disk drive is is affordable it's pretty inexpensive on a per byte basis and it, for that reason it can be huge you can have a terabyte okay a thousand gigabytes or more uh, and it's non-volatile. The data will stay there for a long time. Maybe not permanently, but for a long time. But the problem with the hard disk drive is that it's relatively slow. Okay, So you have two versions of memory. But when we use the term memory, let's consider it as main memory, meaning memory chips. And for the drives, we'll just call the hard disk drive the hard disk drive or the hard drive. Volatility is an important concept here. Because we want to be sure that we're not going to lose our data. Main memory is very fast, but it's temporary. If there's a power failure or somebody pulls the plug out of her desktop computer or a battery dies, we've lost everything that was in main memory. But if we have data stored in a non-volatile storage device like the hard drive, things will stay there for a long, long time. Not permanently, as some of us have experienced, but it stays there for quite a long time, and which is a very good thing.